guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we're gonna to be making another really fun project. Today I'm gonna to be making a mimic box. If you've ever played a dungeon style video game before, you probably know what a mimic is. If not, that's okay too. It's basically a little monster disguised as a treasure chest. That way when you're in your video game and you're running through your dungeon, you find a treasure chest and you think, oh sweet, I have gold now. You open it up and you get a monster that wants to eat your face. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. Okay guys, the first thing we need to do is prep our wooden box so that we can start working with it. So I'm going to use my little screwdriver and I'm going to take the clasp off of the front of the box along with the little hinges that hold it together. I also recommend taking some sandpaper to go over your box to get rid of all the rough edges. Now one thing I want my Mimic box to have is a bunch of little sharp teeth, but I didn't want them to be super fragile, so instead of making them out of clay, I'm going to actually use a wooden dowel, and I found out that if I got a pencil sharpener, I could actually sharpen and make little wooden teeth. So I'm going to use this method to make as many teeth as I want to work with. Okay, now we can move on to adding the clay for our Mimic box. The first thing I'm going to do is take my rolling pin and roll out a bunch of clay. That way I can line the box with a layer of clay. Now the type of clay I'm using is Original Sculpey. It's a type of clay that bakes in a normal kitchen oven. Now because I am working with some wood here, I will have to baby it when I get to the baking part. But if you don't feel comfortable watching it and you're afraid it's going to catch on fire or something, it probably won't, but if you're afraid of that happening, um, I recommend getting a air dry clay. That way you can just sculpt it, let it dry, and then you're done. Now once I have a nice layer put down on the inside of our box, I'm going to start adding the other details to it. So I'm going to add some more clay around the lip of it so we can have more of a gum shape. This is where we're going to put our teeth later. After that, I'm going to take a little bit of tin foil and I'm going to put that where I want the tongue to be. And then I'm going to build up clay on top of that to shape our tongue. Now for the bottom of the box, I'm going to take some strips of clay and I'm going to lay them out where I would like them to go and I'm going to blend them into the other clay. I'm doing this so that it's not just a plain flat bottom, it looks more like skin. Once I'm happy with the look of the bottom of the box and I don't think I need to reach my hand back in the box, I'm going to start putting the wooden teeth into the gums. Now with the top of the box, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to line it with a layer of clay and then I'm going to build up clay around the lip of it to make more gum. Now because I'm considering the top of the box to be the roof of the mouth for the Mimic, I'm actually going to add a uvula to it so it looks a little bit more like a mouth. A uvula is basically the little dangly thing in the back of your throat. To do this, I took a piece of wire and I put it on the roof of the mouth where I want our uvula to be. And then once that was placed nice and firmly, I'm going to cover that in clay and then sculpt it until I like the shape of it. And again, to add more texture to the roof of the mouth, I'm going to use strips of clay and blend them in. And then of course, I'm going to add the wooden teeth to the top of the box as well. Now I'm going to bake these in the oven at 275 Fahrenheit for probably about 30-35 minutes. I don't want to put them in too too long because we are working with wood. Again, if you don't want to do this, you can get air dry clay. Once our Mimic is out of the oven and has cooled to touch, it's time to start on the painting. So I'm going to use red and I'm going to 
primer the whole inside of the box. I'm going to be careful not to get it on the outside because I'm going to do something different with that later. Once your primer has dried, you can start adding the shadowing to the box. So I'm going to use some black paint and I'm going to blend it into the corners of the box to make it look like it's nice and deep. After that, I'm going to take some pink and I'm going to go over the different parts of clay that are slightly lifted up. Um, I'm going to make sure to blend this in and it's going to give it kind of a highlight effect. Your shadows and your highlights are what's going to give it more of a realistic look. So I'm just going to keep adding a bunch of different pinks and reds and darker colors until I'm happy with the coloring. After that, I'm going to take some white paint and I'm going to go over some of the lifted areas. This is going to give it the illusion of being kind of wet. Now for the teeth, I'm going to paint them kind of this gross looking green color. I know that sounds really bad, but I don't want it to have pearly white teeth. I want it to look kind of like a monster. So I'm going to make these nice and green, kind of like rotted teeth, and then I'm going to add white highlights to them later. Now after all of my paint is dried, I'm going to go over everything with a layer of resin. Again, I'm going to be careful not to get any of this on the outside of the box. Okay, so it's the next day and my resin is fully dried and now I can work on the outside part of the box. Now if you want, you can just paint the outside of your box, but I'm going to actually use some wood stain on it. So I'm just going to brush over everything, making sure to get it in all the nooks and crannies, and then I'm going to wipe off the extra. Now you'll notice that I have some plastic down, that's because this will stain literally everything. Along with your hands, your countertops, anything. So if you don't want to get in trouble and ruin something, I recommend getting a nice layer of plastic. If you don't have just like sheets of plastic, you can actually put down a trash bag. So just to be safe, I'm going to let my wood stain dry overnight and afterwards I can add the hinges and the little clasp back onto the box.
Okay guys, and that's how I made a Mimic box. I really hope you enjoyed today's project. If so, leave me a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!